What is going on everyone? It is April 10th, 2019 and I'm about to head out to Grenada for a track meet. So I'll be working with one of my clients, Mr. Justin Gatlin. If you don't know who he is, if you're in the tracking field, you obviously know who he is, but if you don't, roll the clip. The final of the men's 100 meters. Clean start, here's a good start by Coleman. The Americans flying in lane number five. It's the American leading the Jamaican at the moment. It's going to be Coleman, but on the outside in lane number eight, unofficially 9.94 seconds, Justin Gatlin with a time of 9.92 seconds. Yeah, so pretty badass. 2004 Olympic gold medalist, uh, 2017, that clip, 2017 World Championship beat Usain Bolt in his last race. Uh, and this year is 2019, so he is defending his championship, his world championship. Uh, and this is the first meet of the year. Uh, but I figured uh, you can kind of come along with me. I'll show you what it's kind of like to travel with an athlete and, um, yeah, and all the stuff that goes into it. Uh, my flight leaves at 3.15. It's about like 12.30 right now. I need to go to my office first. I got to grab uh, my travel table that I need to bring with me. I just packed up all my stuff. So I will see you guys at the office and then the airport. Finally made it to Grenada a little bit later than expected. Our flight was supposed to go off at 9.05 and it got delayed till 10.50. So we were over at the airport doing nothing for two hours. Uh, but finally here, and we got here probably like an hour ago, but all the athletes were checking in. So just took a little bit. So it's 1 p.m. or sorry, 1 a.m. right now. Uh, so I'm going to go grab a snack real quick. They left some food out for us and then I'm gonna come back here and sleep and then I'll show you the room and all that good stuff in the morning. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It is probably like 8.30 here in Grenada. A little tired, but you know what I figured? If I'm here, might as well take advantage when I have some free time. It's like, look how nice this is. How crazy this is. We got this guy on a boat right here. Uh, so I'm just gonna hang out here, just walk around and uh, super relaxing. And then uh, go back to the hotel room and then get ready for the day. Probably gonna meet up at 9.30 with everyone. Uh, just for some breakfast and schedule the day out. And then from there, uh, most likely probably just an hour break and then I'll probably go work on Justin, most likely. Grab lunch and then head to the track and then probably a little bit of therapy later on today too. So I'll catch you guys later. And that is it for the day. Let me show you the room real quick because I didn't show it to you before. Got the bathroom here, super nice. Got my travel table. 
we have two beds, but I'm the only one staying here, so I've just been throwing my stuff on this one. And I've been sleeping in this one, and is it weird if I just sleep on one side, even though I have the whole bed? Does anyone else do that? Or is it just me? Got some water, stay hydrated, my friends. Been getting some work done on this desk. Super nice desk, super nice day bed. And this is my view while I'm here. It's no ocean view, but you know what? I will take it. And these are coconut trees right here. Some guy was poking at them earlier, knocking some coconuts down, which is pretty cool. The Radisson, definitely recommend it if you're in Grenada. It's super nice. But that's what a typical day looks like and what most days look like when I travel. And we're here with Justin's uh, teammates as well and his coach. Uh, he trains with like five or six other people and most of them are here on the trip too. And they'll be racing. Um, but yeah, we'll usually all grab some breakfast together in the morning, figure out the schedule. I'll work on Justin after breakfast, kind of see what's going on with his body, what he needs, and then kind of work it through and work it out. And then we'll go to the track. I'll bring my stuff with me in case he needs me there and go through practice, come back. Usually we'll grab some food and then again, I'll work on him, kind of see what we saw at practice and figure out if we can work on some stuff there. And then after that, go to dinner with everyone, uh, kind of just chill out after. And that's pretty much it. That's a typical day traveling with him. And I'm sure you guys want to see more of me like actually working on him. Uh, but for me in my brain, uh, I don't want to ask him to do that or uh, I try to be as professional as possible. And the first thing is he's like one of the nicest guys. So I know if I asked him, he wouldn't mind. But in my brain, I'm trying to be as professional as possible. And it's all about him. I'm here to make sure he's performing at his highest ability so he can go out and race on Saturday night and not have any issues. So um, maybe in the future or maybe like, you know, when we're not at an event, I'll show some stuff there. But that's the reason why, like for me, it's just not professional to uh, think about myself, to have content, you know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, but I'll be going again with him in a couple weeks to another event. Let me know if you like this vlog and I can do a little bit of a similar vlog there. And that's, that's it, that is it. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Uh, comment below, let me know what you liked about this and what you wanna see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time.